Hello, you guys. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 26. And guess what? It's movie night. Yes, girl. I finally get some time to myself. The kids are not here. It's just me. And I really get a chance to just have some me time. So I decided to watch a movie. And um, shout out to When the Ball Breaks for sponsoring this video. So yeah, you guys, I got my popcorn ready. I got some, remember the gingerbread houses that we made? We've kind of started eating off of them. So I got some of that ready. And then I have my Moscato here and my glass of wine here. And I bought these glasses last year on Christmas Eve and I decided to bring it back out for one last go around. Since 2016 is almost over. Um, yes, and I did purchase some for 2017. So I figured I would throw my Moscato in there and drink it out of there. So yeah, I am ready to go clink, clink, clink on that. So you guys, When the Ball Breaks is about a young professional couple who have basically exhausted all their options on having a baby. So they choose to go the surrogate route and they feel like they have found the perfect surrogate to carry their baby. She's this young, beautiful young lady. And um, so she becomes totally fixated with the father-to-be. And as she gets farther along in her pregnancy, she starts to show like psychotic like behavior. She gets to be really crazy. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I, I have never been through anything like that. That is totally crazy. I'm not even sure that I will choose a surrogate to carry my baby. Like if, if I couldn't have kids, I, but I can't say, I don't know, unless I was in that situation. I have two kids, of course, but I'm just thinking for myself, like if I was, if I couldn't have kids, I don't know that I could have someone carry my baby. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe a sister, uh, maybe a family member would be a better option. But I just can't see myself choosing this random person that I don't know anything about. You know what I'm saying? That I haven't known for years that isn't close to me. I just can't see myself doing that. What about you guys? Like, I'm pretty sure there's um, people out there that use surrogates all the time. I want to know your thoughts on that. We tried for a long time to get pregnant. It really put the two of us through hell. Hey, we're going to have a family. Are you sure you still want to be a surrogate? Yes, I am. Look at her eyes. She means it. If we do this, we just want to make sure that you and I are comfortable with it. We're down to our last viable embryo. The baby is your business. She took a home test. I'm going to be a father. <laughs> Mr. Mitchell is going to be taken in and charged with domestic battery. I don't have another place to stay. Yes, you do. Anna, we'd like you to stay here with us. If you ever come near Anna again, I'll bust your head open. I love that dress. It's okay, you can admit it. She's beautiful. I told Laura she's lucky to have you. That must be nice, living up in that big, beautiful house. Is that the dress you gave her? No, it's not. Don't be afraid of me, John. You're already inside of me. You can do anything you want to me. This is gonna happen. When you're around me, do you really want to hurt me? my whole body reacts. So the most crazy part about this movie is that um, the husband is put into a situation where he has to have an affair with the surrogate in order to protect the baby. So yes, girl, he literally has to do what he has to do to make sure that the baby is safe. Anna! What are you doing? Look, do you see this? This is me and Laura. She is my wife, okay? This is our home. Do you not understand that? I don't want to have to say anything to her. Maybe I should go. No, wait, hold on. No, no, please, please. Okay, look. Maybe, maybe I said something to encourage you in, in all this. And if I did do that, then I am sorry. Hello? Hey. I didn't want to wait until tomorrow, so I grabbed the next flight out. Good. That's, that's, that's good. Congratulations on everything. Hello, Laura. Hi. 
How are you? Everything is fine. Mm, welcome home. It's good to be back. It's good to have you back. And to let you guys know, this movie will be available on digital, Blu-ray, and on demand. So you can kind of watch it, you know, with, you know, your girls, or you can watch it with your man for a date night. So you guys, aside from having movie night tonight, I did get a lot of requests on, um, or a lot of questions on, um, what my new year's resolutions are and what i do for work so just to briefly go over that and maybe i can like do a video i don't i don't know if a, a full video is needed but just to briefly talk about that um my new year's resolutions i don't really set resolutions i don't really have resolutions what i do have is goals and i set goals throughout the year so um i would have to say my main goal for 2017 is just to travel more um yes that is um a huge huge thing that i that i have put on my to-do list um first stop is actually dubai and that is in april and so i'm gonna be taking the kids places we're just gonna be traveling and seeing the world i've never been out of the country so it's it's quite exciting that i'm gonna be going to dubai and um so yeah so traveling more just living life with no hesitations just going out and doing it you know um for me and my kids you know allowing them to see the a little bit of the world as well um you guys know that i if you haven't been watching my vlogs and this is new to you then i have been saying that i'm starting a new vlog channel because these new adventures that i'm going to be taking in 2017 i'm going to be documenting them in vlogs and i'm going to be putting them on my vlog channel i decided to kind of add another channel because i felt like my hair videos were being intertwined with my vlog videos and it was kind of taken away from my hair videos and i definitely don't want you guys missing out on any hair videos um so I decided to keep Miss Kim K all strictly hair and then my new vlog channel called what Ken says is going to be about my travels and my life so if you're interested the link will be in the description box so yeah so this new vlog channel is definitely a passion of mine I definitely want to document all of my travels and the things that go on this year because I have so much planned so I'm really excited about that and as far as like Miss Kim K, I'm just really excited to see where it could go. I know that you guys have been nothing but supportive. However, all you want to do is see my hair. Some of you guys don't give two pieces of crap about my vlogs, which is fine, which is why I made the vlog channel. So that channel is for people who are really interested. And this channel is for all hair. So yes, you guys. So I'm really excited about that. Um, growing my brand of course I'm excited about where my kids are going um, uh, we're coming up on more basketball for my daughter and uh, more music for my son so yeah I'm just really excited about that um, this I said 2017 is going to be the year of freedom mind body and spirit um, 2016 was more of a year of getting to know who I am and now that I know a little piece of who I am, little piece, I'm still working on it. I still haven't figured me all the way out. <laughs> um, I know what I can tolerate, what I can't tolerate. So I'm just working on being free, being um, as far as work. Um, I am what you call a clinical researcher, but more in depth. What do I do in clinical research? I am a regulatory and financial manager. So I basically manage the financial study part of research. And but, so let me go back. Let me go back. I work in a research department. We research infectious diseases. And there's a lot of different aspects to our department. There is an IT aspect. There is, um, there is a financial aspect. There is a regulatory aspect. There is a clinical coordination aspect. Um, there is an administrative aspect to it. So I am the manager of the regulatory and financial aspect of our division. Um, so basically what I do is I make sure that we're receiving on the financial side, I make sure that we're receiving 
all of the patient payments that we should be receiving. I make sure that invoices are being sent out to these um, pharmaceutical companies so that we can receive the money um, that we should be receiving. I'm making sure that that money is the correct amount. Um, on the regulatory side, I'm making sure that we're basically staying in compliance and we're making sure that patients are as safe as possible and we're not violating any HIPAA laws. So basically, I make sure um, that our research consent forms are in order, that they've been approved by our our IRB, which, are, which is our review board. I make sure that um, everyone is in compliance with training, as far as HIPAA training, biomedical training, all of that great stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much the gist of my job. I have been working in research for almost eight years, and it'll be eight years in April 2017. And during those eight years, I started as a clinical research coordinator, where I would go into hospitals and talk to patients about the research studies that um, we are doing in our division. And um, let me tell you a very funny story um, about when I first started there. Um, we had a C. diff. Um, study and I don't know if you guys know what that is Clostridium difficile it's basically a poop study so my task was to go and enroll patients into the study and do rectal swabs and that is what paid my salary so <laughs> I was, it was a very very interesting study but yes I um, ended up consenting like 100 patients on my own throughout this study and it was just a good old fun time so you could say I have started um, from the bottom with getting my hands dirty and have worked my way up to where I am now so yeah I started as a clinical researcher then from there I was like a clinical um, manager clinical research manager where I kind of managed all of the study activities um, in the division and uh, we have like almost 80 employees I'm sorry we have almost 60 researchers so I had to manage all of those personalities and make sure that you know everything was fair and that is a very very difficult thing to do sometimes when you have people from all over the world with different personalities Yes, so I am very, very grateful that I have moved on to the regulatory and financial. The only people that I manage, I manage two people, and that is my assistant and then a student um, under me who helps me do things. So yeah, so I'm really excited about the financial and regulatory part. I've been in it for um, a little under a year and it works well. And the reason why I really wanted to do it is because Financial is global. Financial is any company. Every company has a financial department. Every company has a department that checks their books. They make sure they're getting paid for specific things. They make sure invoices are getting sent out for payments. They're making sure that checks are being cleared. So yes, every company has that. So it's just nice to have that aspect underneath my, um, on my CV, um, because then I know that I can go anywhere and work as a financial consult or financial whatever financial manager um pretty much anywhere so yes and the great thing about my job is that i work for a boss that's very fair and so he likes to put people in positions that they're interested in and so i really appreciate him for that so yeah that is what i do at work i hope you guys enjoyed hearing about that let me know if you have any questions i want to know what you guys' goals are for 2017 or resolutions, whatever you call it. I want to know what you plan on doing, what goals you plan on knocking out. Y'all, look how I stepped out the house. Let me turn this that radio down. I sure did. I sure did step out the house like this. Yes, I did. I'm on my way to take these babies to their daddy's house. Are you excited to go over your daddy's house? Yes. Is you or no? We are. Hmm. They're going to spend a day with their dad today. And I'm going to brunch. Got a brunch date, y'all. So I'm going to go home and do something to my hair. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> Get dressed or whatever. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 27, y'all. 
Okay, bye you guys. Love you. Bye. Where's Copper? Let me bring my little sweet boy up here. Come on, sweet boy. Come on, I'll put you down here so you can relax. <clears throat> Sit. Oh, look at him. Hi, sweet boy. Sit down so you won't be so excited. Sweet boy, sit down, copper. Sit down. Look how he's looking at me. He know he get away with murder. Sit down, copper. Sit. <laughs> he's so damn cute. How can you be mad at that cute little face? Well, anyway, I'm on my way home, so I'll check in with you guys later. So, you guys, my hair is still super wet. It is like you guys like the ends are drenched so I just took out the flexi rods and I am about to use my hair dryer well what I'm gonna do is just slightly dry it because I do want texture so I'll show you how to turn lemons into lemonade girl okay you guys so my hair did not dry all the way so I had to pin the sides back and pull out some baby hairs and just give texture just, just texture, honey. I just, you know. There is not really one curl in sight, but. I would have to call this fro. This is a fro. This is my fro. So, yeah. Now I'm on my way out the door. We're not on Snapchat yet, but we're working. Y'all need a Snapchat. Well, who's gonna do all the snapping? I guess whoever's here. <laughs> that looks so good. So y'all, Sally's has a sale. Anything with a red tag is on sale. An extra 50% off of that. So what y'all need? I got y'all. Yes, girl. I just can't. I don't even need nothing. I just came in here because of the sale. But I did want to get some. I did want to get some of these for a holiday style that I'm going to be doing for you guys. Let me grab those. Those are pretty. So like I told you guys, I am doing a holiday style and I'm looking for stuff like this because these right here, like these, are real easy to insert in the hair. But gosh, they're $8 for four, but I need a lot of them and I'm not going to pay $8 to get as many as I need. No. Let me keep looking. Maybe I can make something. Maybe I can get creative and make something myself with the bobby pins that I purchased from Sally's. I don't know. But we're going to find out. These are really cute too, but they're matte and I want something sparkly. So yeah. 
They don't have too much.